Pisces. Welcome to your new moon and Capricorn reading. So, yeah. Okay, Pisces. No, hold on. Hold that thought. Pisces, what do you want to talk about? Hmm? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Come on. Um, I think the last three signs, the fucking cards was flying out the deck in like three seconds. Come on. Keep that, keep that trend going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on, Pisces. You can do it. Get, uh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me puff these cards? Y'all really gonna make me do it? I don't wanna do it, but I will. Oh. Okay. I will. All right, I'll take that. Can I have two? I'm gonna give you three, so you'll get the bottom two, and that's that on that. Put it like that. What did you not get? Huh? Put it. Okay. Cool. All right, all right. Decisions, 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 I see. Okay. Yeah, let's get it, Pisces. Nope. Yep, Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> Past position card, Page of Cups. Smell the fucking bed. Position card, the moon. Future position, page of wands. You start with a page and end with a page. Ambiguity in between. Hmm? All right. That's your card, Pisces. I just realize that. Close enough. All right. Page of Cups, <laughs> enthusiasm, youthful energy for creative projects and new skill, um, new creative skills. <sighs> That's gonna be your focus here. Well, no, this is the past. So you were enthusiastic. You had a youthful energy for new creation, creations, projects, new skills. Hopefully you remain focused and disciplined. And I don't think you did because we got the moon coming next. Um, this card is about starting a bunch of things and having issues sticking to them, getting stuck. Which I think you might have been. I ain't even going to finish that because presently you have the moon, right? The moon is about change, phases, cycles, confusion, intuition, mystery. <sighs> Unseen things at work. It's difficult to see what things really are. It's impossible to see what the future's bringing. Torn between opposites, unsure, unsurety. You don't know what path to take, what you should be doing. And things will not be what they appear. This is what you're going through right now. You're like in a well of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you had a lot going on in the past and maybe you weren't really sure on what to do and now that shit is just amplified but but don't don't be too um down about that because in the future position you have the page of wands which is again new beginnings <laughs> intimidation there is some fear and anxiety here but you're also passionate and you're inspired this is about going on a new path and you're excited about it and you're ready now if this is you and someone's offering you help take it or even um you could be the one providing someone help to go on their journey but even still i think it's you it's all a bunch of new 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 and a lot of 
I'm not sure, but I'm excited and fearful. You're just a well of emotions, Pisces, which is beautiful, honestly, because this is really, this has been, is, will be an exciting time for you. That's, that's fucking great. It really is. I'm a little jelly right now. Jealous. All right. Queen of the Moon Oracle. What guidance, what advice do we have for Pisces? Hmm? What guidance? Wait. <laughs> no fucking way. Y'all ready? Bro. Sis. Whoever. <sighs> Beginnings. Can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 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 All right. Beginnings. You are offered a fresh start. Your journey is beginning. Take the first steps towards something new. It, it is time to place emphasis on your health and well-being. Pisces, your affirmation is, I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginnings. Hmm. There is something incredibly poetic and even romantic about the tiny sliver of silver that is the new moon. After the waning cycle and the depth of the dark moon, here is appearing in the sky incredibly a crescent of the fur finest light almost a scratch upon the blackboard of the universe here is the evidence that even after the darkest night light returns again the crescent of the new moon is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient prehistory <laughs> there are cave drawings featuring crescent moons sculptures and goddesses with crescent moon diadems and the goddesses aphrodite hecate diana armitas Inanna and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with new moon symbology. Go back even further into the Nor Neolithic cave paintings where moon and sun symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. When the new moon appears in the lunar cycle, we are gifted with new beginning with a new beginning and a fresh start. What we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released into the void of the dark moon. And here, waiting in the waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to risk everything again. Whether we are asking for a fresh start in, in relationships or new love or heralding a, the new action of intentions such as better health and business or the start of a new project, Riding the new moon energy will assist us. Many creative people start new works on a new moon, and I personally, as an author, like to begin all my new works on this phase, even if beginning simply means typing up a cover page or outline. The most powerful of new moon, new moons <laughs> for new starts traditionally are within the season of spring. Pisces, I ain't reiterating shit. Like, your reading is amazing. Whatever it is, go for it. There you go. This has been your new moon in Capricorn reading. You're very welcome. Get off my table. Bye for now.